All right. All right. Sorry for the long pause there. Just making sure that uh, this is working. Here we are in Fallout 4 with Pistol Pete. We're on hard difficulty, and I'm going to beat the game with just the pistol. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm going to try to beat it, hopefully in one go. Um, but who knows? You know, uh, yeah. So we're going to do my look at my stats real quick. I set this guy. Uh, I set strength at three because I wanted armor for good defense. Didn't really need a lot of perception because perception seems to be mostly for. Um, rifles and whatnot so whatever i got three endurance for life giver and toughness which we're going to need charisma three for lone wanderer uh and we're going to have um i'm going to put the, the special book in here to get attack dog intelligence at three for gun nut agility is real high because i want action boy moving target and quick hands um and luck is equally high for uh this for um not only Idiot Savant, which I'm going to take early on, but also Better Criticals and Critical Banker. Um, also, Blame Mess is always good, good as well as Scrounger, I think. Yeah, Scrounger. These are all uh, why these are spread out like this. Um, perception being super low is going to have uh, a problem with my accuracy a little bit. Uh, but we can put, once we get the perks I want for this build, we can just put them in awareness to just boost that up. Which is, you know, fine. Other than that, it's going to be a just kind of like trying to beat the game as quickly as possible with uh, the starting pistol. I am allowing myself to upgrade the pistol. I can't. Um, uh, I can't exchange it for another pistol. I have to beat the game with that pistol, but I'm going to upgrade it and you know, make changes to it over time. Uh, I'm going to be collecting a lot of stuff just basically for the caps of it. Um, just for... Oh, forgot these skeletons were here. Just for the, uh, you know, the nature of it. Whoa. Um... There we go. <laughs> Sorry, I noticed uh, there was a an error in the stream settings. All right. So first things first, we're going to go. Um, I guess talk to Codsworth real quick, and then we'll proceed to like we'll, we'll proceed to uh, run around and loot and whatnot. Hey, Codsworth. Yep. Yep. Yeah, I'm using the default name. Uh, but this is Pistol Pete. Um, Pistol Pete, yes, it's right there. Uh, Sean, doesn't matter. I love how this. He's saying something that doesn't do anything. <laughs> oh, sir, it's horrible. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go. Stay with me, pal. Thank you, Codsworth. Here we go. Now, shall we search the neighborhood together? All right. How to... All right, so he's just going to feck off. Uh, while I'm thinking about it, I'm going to go get my charisma point from the special book, which is underneath this dresser here, if you've never uh, uh, been in here. This is my house from the start. I... I have a save file at the very beginning of the game that I use for these type of things. Okay. Perhaps I should clean out the old sensor array. What's all this? Not this time. Probably should only be. I'm so used to double tapping because in survival those things take two or three hits to do. Ooh. We're gonna break in this real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lock picking. Oh, I only had one bobby pin. All right, I'm gonna have to look around for some more bobby. Oh, there's some more bobby pins right there. Hallelujah. All right. Um. 
This is this is slightly modded. I do have mods that let me put legendaries on weapons, but I'm going to not use it. Uh, ooh. I'm not going to use it because that would seem unfair. Alright. And it's also not in the spirit of the game of the challenge. Can I beat this game? Uh why'd that bug have a fucking Oh. What did I swivel past just now that had a What? Cods what? Hey, Cods what? It's a peach. But this is a young Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Come on, Cods what? I need your well, you could. Thanks for your help. Good luck. Brilliant. All right. All right. So I'm going to loot some of these other houses real quick. See if I can find some money or some stuff I can sell. Because this is going to be a kind of. Uh, I'm, it's a challenge for me purely because I usually get way into the base building. So this is going to be like, oh, 20 shells. God damn it. This is going to be kind of like a, a challenge more for me than anything. To not only use one gun, but also to uh, not do any of the base building and just beat the fucking game. Um, I've already been in this house. What am I doing? Uh, because a lot of times, you know, you just you don't think about that. You don't. Uh, it's not something that you. It's part of the challenges are supposed to be like to put you out of your comfort zone in a way. And having, and just doing, playing the game as I normally would, uh, really doesn't benefit me at all. Uh, because that's how I normally would play the game. There must be someone normally I'd, I'd scrap everything down here and I'd start building a settlement and start running through. And, you know, I'm planning on doing it a, a, uh, once I finish up my Hardcore Nora run. I'm going to do a Hardcore Nate run. And he's not going to do any base building at all. Uh, or at least the absolute minimum to get the job done. Because he's, he's going to be Brotherhood. But I, I was, I've been out of... Uh, you know, I've been in kind of a funk the past few days. So doing something that I think is genuinely interesting is always a good idea. Oh. The one shield ain't that bad. Alright, we're gonna grab all this food. Because um, we're not on survival. We're not playing this on survival because I want to beat this game, beat, try to beat this game relatively quickly. Uh, and playing it on survival will just take too goddamn long. So we're not gonna do that. I mean, I'm pretty certain this will be kind of doable, because once I get this thing up to... I, I can upgrade my gun. This to be a, basically become a, an SMG. I'm going to... Oh, there's another pistol. I'll take it. Uh, disarm. Who protects their... There's another 10 mil. Great. Go and get some parts... We can get some parts for that thing. Yeah, there's nothing in this house. This house is derelict. Oh, shit. Where'd he come from? I've taken rad damage. Of course I've taken rad damage. Ah, here we go. Oh, uh, I'm gonna say that that counts because I, I killed it with the gun. <laughs> necessarily with a bullet, but I used the gun to kill it. So I'm going to say that counts for this run. Um, Alright, I think... I think I've looted all the good stuff. Um, let's cook up some of this food. I'm not really sure what... Um, what it does in non-survival mode.
There we go. Alright, sorry. Let's find out. I haven't played not survival mode in so long. Um, uh, grilled rad roach. Uh, oh, just 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 as HP. All right, sweet. Here we go. All right, and I'm gonna loot this main house because this is the uh, true police stories. I think that does pistol stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna nick all this stuff. I guess it's not really stealing if it's mine. Or I guess if it's in the post-apocalypse, post-apocalypse, and the original owner is dead, I guess that doesn't count as stealing. <laughs> yeah, that's one thing this game always kind of does is the um, what it in indicates is stuff that's stolen has always been kind of loose. All right. Transfer, we're going to store all that junk, and we're going to go over to my craft bench. I'm going to scrap the other pistols I found. Scrap you. Scrap you. All right, we're going to see if we can... Already we've got some decent stuff. Shall I go now? I'll go hard in for now. And we'll, um... Uh, oh, I leveled up. We're going to do comfort grip. Uh, see, here's the legendary mod. I'm not going to do that. Um, I've already got a better pistol. Hallelujah. Do I have any armor? No. But this stuff is worth some caps, so I'm going to sell these uh, once once I get, uh, once I'm able to. Ah. Uh, real quick saving. It's been a while. All right, so I actually don't think I have out of time. So let's go to Concord. Oh, wait, I can level up. Level up. So first things first, I think either... Hmm. Let's do... Toughness. Bloody mess. Maybe we'll just... Uh, eh, let's do gunslinger. Non-automatic pistols. So maybe we won't go full auto. Mm. Take the most of a uh, advantage of gunslinger. Yeah, we'll have to stick with single auto, single auto, uh, semi-automatic fire, which is fine. It's kind of the only normal thing in my normal play style for this. Um, and I think there's a bag or a chest up here. Yeah. Garbage. All right, cool. Let's go get dog meat. Hey, doggo. Hey, boy. What are you doing out here all by yourself? You want to come with me, pal? Greet the dog. Pet the dog. <laughs> okay, then. Let's stick together. Yep. I now have dog meat. Um, now we're going to loot everything. Dog found something. Uh, anything of use in here? I got a 38 rounds, which doesn't really help me much, but you know. You know how that goes. What is my carrying capacity, anyways? 230. That's right, I have a big strength score. For no reason. I've had many a. Uh, survival run killed by these things, so I'm not messing around. Ah. There Postman's mailbag. Increases my carrying capacity. Technically a mod, but it just lets me carry more stuff. So. <laughs> that another cool wearing it. Give me that bobby pin drawer. Alright, here we go. 
And I don't actually need to sleep to save. This is normally where I would save. God, I didn't realize how ingrained survival mode tricks have become in my brain. Like, I don't need to be as careful, and I can save whenever I feel like it, because there's autosaves. <laughs> All right, I want to go in here, grab this stuff. I think upstairs is a hard lock. Expert. Oh my god. I have to sell all this stuff to. So we've got leather chest piece. Long johns aren't any better than what I've got already. Already looking like a post-apocalyptic guy. Okay. Is that everybody? Why actually? Oh. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> that was supposed to be hard. Uh. Oh, I hit the wrong button there. Uh, we're just gonna be grabbing. Hey, up here on the balcony. Hey, Garvey. Dog meat. Give me that. I'm not going to use it, but I want to sell it later. I'll take the militia hat. I, le I leveled up. All right, sweet. Ah, I knew there was another guy out here somewhere. I'm not going to take the sack hood. All right, um, we'll loot this stuff for the parts later. Hmm. I might do, because I can, um, a uh, laser musket only, <laughs> oh, laser musket only run, that sounds like that would be hell on earth, and if I'm anything, I'm apparently a masochist. Now we're looking proper. Get some, find some glasses to up my perception. Alright, so they're going to be busy upstairs for a hot minute. I forgot I had the flashlight mod. I'm just going to take all this stuff. Um, Preemptively to get the fusion core so I don't have to go back up. Come on now. Come on now. Here we go. Here we go. Let's, um, where's his corpse? There his corpse is. I want to take the stuff really worth taking. Alright. We gotta go around here to... I'm telling you, man, let's just get the hell out of here. We got no reason to hang around and get shot. Hmm? Where'd he go? Oh. <laughs> Alright. 
Wait a second. That sounds like the... This is the song that gets on everybody's nerves. Everybody's nerves. Everybody's nerves. This is the song that gets on everybody's nerves. And this is how it goes. This is the song that gets on everybody's nerves. Has that always been? I've never ever noticed that before. But again, I don't think that that song is... Uh, that. So, you know. Uh, do to do. Do do to do to do to do to do to do. Hey, Preston. Man, I don't know who you are, but your time is about uh -huh. to dance. Glad to help. Please, go on. A month ago. Sorry. God damn it. Thanks. One good idea can make all the difference. Sir, there's a crash. Okay, a crash for the roof. Old school. I don't know why you can never skip this dialogue. Looks like one of its passengers left behind a seriously sweet goodie. Yeah, I'm going to try to beat the game in one pistol with uh, the starting pistol. I am going to upgrade it. I'm going to, you know, mod it and whatnot, but, uh. I like it. <laughs> yeah, armor and whatnot's going to be whatever I can scavenge. I'm going to try to not really do any base building. Yeah, no minigun. Minigun. Not going to use it, but we're going to get the minigun because we're going to sell it later. I'll help if I can. What you'll need is an. But we can't. Look. I already got it. Actually, I already got the fusion core. We're set. Well, all right. All right, talk to Pews and grab the bobblehead. My eyes. Hell yeah. There's something uh, coming. It's angry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, I just remembered something. I need to put my um. Uh. uh favorite on three. And my weapon. Favorite to one. There we go. Alright. Yeah. Just a starring pistol. Um, so I'm going to be collecting stuff to sell our scrap and whatnot for upgrades. And Probably going to go Minutemen ending. Just because that's usually the fastest one. And this is more of a see if I can do it. Um, more than anything. <laughs> All right, so power armor. There we go. Armored. I don't need that. Uh, let's get in this power armor. I'm gonna grab the minigun and then not use it. Uh. No. I'm gonna try not to. I hate that it auto equips that. I'm gonna try not to, but I don't have a whole lot of ammo, but we might be able to cheese it. All right, maybe I might have to. <laughs> Just because there's not a lot of, uh... Okay, here he comes. Oh. All these guys are using 38. Oh, shite. Where is he? Go let him take care of the... Let him take care of the raiders. Where'd he go? There he is. Oh, 
Oh boy. Here we go. Oh crap, I'm out of ammo. Shit. Click, 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 click. Alright. I guess I'm gonna have to use the minigun, or else this ends here. Uh, actually, let's hit him with some grenades first. Oh, his AI is that freaking good that he'll dodge grenades? <laughs> let's hit him with the molly. I did nothing. Maybe I can um, drag him down here and have Preston finish him off for me. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Click, 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 click. Come on, Preston, hit the damn thing. All right. I don't have enough. I got so much 38 rounds. Oh. I don't want it. Cheat, but... I also can't kill this thing without using the, another gun, so I'm just going to use the minigun on this one instance. Uh, and then we'll... Yeah, shut up, Raider man. Come here. My god, this minigun is garbage. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Am I still allowed to glitch the game? Uh, I would say not intentionally. Die. Die. There we go. But, you know, like, um... Glitching it uh, accidentally, I would say, is fine. I'm not intentionally trying to break it or nothing. That being said, I do have a mod to, that allows me to make ammo, so I might just have to go do that. But shortly after this, uh, we're going to walk Preston and his fools back up to Sanctuary, where I'm going to craft some ammo. And then we'll move on to. Was a pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. Yep. Feelings mutual. We can never have too many friends. That's true. Commonwealth. Uh. You're welcome. Well, since you say. All right, Garvey. Oh. Please tell me. Throw a man out of. Town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew it. We all know what happens here. Uh huh. All right, and now that we've done that, uh, we can just go. We're all gonna die eventually. We're gonna need this Hey, we need to keep moving. Yeah. All right. All right. We want to go up to. Uh... uh, sure. I guess you you can ask questions if you like. Try to get back up to Sanctuary and ditch this armor. Yeah, 
Well, I guess theoretically I could just fast travel there. I'm so used to not have being able to fast travel. <laughs> I really hope they fix loading times in, their, in the next title. Alright, so we're going to position properly. What would you call a male ladybug? I guess a, a ladybug is it's the same creature? Ooh, combat scope. Uh, yeah, let's see what this looks like. Stem. What does it want me to do? Join Preston Garvey in Sanctuary. Okay. Um... I'm gonna go with uh I'm gonna go with idiot savant so we level up a bit faster. Alright, uh da -da. and I'm going oh wait no. I haven't done that yet. I said I was gonna do some some beds, but uh the beds aren't here yet. Think, think, think. Beds. We'll just make some beds real quick. I forgot that made noise. I think there's five folks here. Yeah. All right. Question two: If you were to be banned from your local library, what would be the reason? Uh, probably because I forgot to bring back books. <laughs> I'm being honest. I need some concrete, do I? Uh, there's some concrete. Yeah. Idiot Savant already paying off. Heavy vegetables. Oh well. <laughs> Alright, he's taking a while. Alright, so bullets. Ooh, I like that scope actually. It is also not vanilla content. Um, I think over here is my chem station. Hi, kitty. Which should let me craft some ammo. Or not. Maybe it's under uh, utility. 10 millimeter round. Alright. Let's see how many that gave me. 75 rounds. That's not a lot. What secret conspiracy would you like to actually start letting other people know? Um, I don't really have anything for that. I, I don't really believe most conspiracies. Uh, so I guess, yeah, I don't, I don't really think, I think most conspiracies are BS, so, yeah, I don't really want people to know about them because most of them just foster mistruths or half-truths, so. What do you think? Yeah. I used to like living. What do you mean? I lived here. Damn. Uh huh. You say you were. My son. Damn. I'm sorry. Anyway, 
I am glad you're here. <laughs> and I hope you don't mind. But I love the awkward pauses built into these conversations. The only chance of trouble is, uh huh. I'd be glad to help. That's fantastic. By the way, sure. Leveled up again. Huzzah. All right, we're gonna level up again. We're gonna take um, uh, we're gonna take gun nut just so we can start modifying. All right, and I'm actually going to let's see here. First step: stock the surges. No. I want to go find trash can Carla, who sh theoretically should be down by the. Uh, Food station. Uh, I, sure, I guess, man. If you want to, <laughs> you want to hang around. I'm not going to knock that. So over here, down by uh, on the other side of Concord, I do believe, near a billiard, not billiard, billboard is going to be um, Trash Can Carla. Uh, and then just past her is going to be Trudy's place. I think it's Trudy. It's either Trudy or Tracy. Um, and from there I can buy... Um, bullets from either of them hopefully they've got a good stock because i would like to like to buy bullets from either of them so i don't have a lot of ammo oh i don't have a lot of ammo for this yet Be real careful around here. Sometimes ghouls pop up. Oh, there she is. Hey, Carla. Huh? Hey. So, what's your story? Looking to trade? Rob me? Or just ask directions to Diamond City? Uh. Just looking for love, sweetheart. <laughs> Boy, have you. But I'll tell you what. Do, do, do. Uh, let's see what you got. Sure. Let's take a look. Yeah, yeah. Keep your shirt on. Yeah, man. This is a free, it's a free thing. You can, you can work or chat. Do, do what you want to, man. All right. All right. Um... These are my I sell some of these drugs, some of this food, sell some of the stuff I don't need nor use. Sell this mo Oh wait. Dang it. She's got a doctor's bag. I've got some water. Uh, stem packs. Dang it, she still doesn't have enough money. Dang it. Um, I bet you it was the... What was it that put her over? Okay, guess we're going to have to hold on to those MF cells for now. 
do I think aliens really exist? Uh, yeah. Like, statistically, they have to. I find it um, mathematically impossible for there not to be... Um... Oh, shit. Okay, I don't know where these dogs came from. Yeah, the aliens, like, mathematically have to exist. <laughs> Carla! Alright, so... I accidentally shot Carla a bunch of times there. <laughs> Oh, don't you start woohooing wo wo over there. Alright, we're gonna go down here to Trudy and clue her up her wolf game problem. We had a deal, Trudy. Hand over the goods. You owe us. I ain't giving you poison shilling chem pushes anything. You know what that junk has done to my boy? He bought them fair and square, Trudy. Ain't our fault if he's strung out. Mm. Let's see here. You stop waving that gun in my face. That's it. You're dead. You... All right, fine. You want to do it this way? We can do it this way. Oh, for a second there, I thought Trudy was coming at me. Uh, da, da. Ooh, was it better armor? Yeah, it is. Where's Simone? Or was that Simone? That was Simone. Where is Wolfgang? There he is. Alright. Why did aliens come to our Earth? Is it because of Will Smith? Why didn't... Why don't aliens come to our Earth? Well... In the reality of it, the space, like, our universe is so cosmically huge, it'd be like uh, asking a, a person why didn't they step on a particular grain of sand on the beach. It is entirely possible that there are entire cosmic organizations of millions of different life forms scattered throughout the, just the sheer scale of our universe. That is entire, it is not only mathematically plausible but also not impossible that we've been visited by aliens i personally don't think we have been um because on like a cosmic scale our our galaxy is kind of far away from everything else and there's not a lot of m-class planets in our local cluster so it's not like there's really a lot of life in our area to come see us so I just think we're we're just in a a slow chunk, you know. Dog meat. Hey. 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 Go over there. Here. Yeah. I I don't know what Will Smith has to do with it. Hey. Uh. I can't wait to see the crows feeding on that scumbag. Here, this is for you. Now, if you ever need to trade, my shop's open. Funny how you could mention that. Let's see what you have. A little bit of everything. I'm already level five. Holy crap. Alright, we're gonna sell these. 308 rounds. Um let's see if I can sell this minigun. A couple of these pistols. Uh, she's got a lot of 10 mil. So I'm going to paying her.
pay her fifteen dollars for all that stuff. Hmm. What she has got? Stim packs. She does. She's got some stim packs. Um, so I'm gonna sell her some of this cola I found. I don't want to sell those yet. I wonder if you could take these MF cells. Um, oh, no. She made all on that one. How would I react to becoming super famous on YouTube? Um, that's kind of a hard... Oh, these are all st steel. Alright, that's kind of a hard thing to ask. Because everyone always has, like, the, oh, you know, we'll be humble about it. And I, or, you know, I think I would try to be humble about it. But then again, it just, like, I guess it just, like, give me more of a reason to do more YouTube stuff. You know, but, yeah, I don't really think anything would change too much. Just that I'd probably be uploading more stuff and spending more time on my content. Again, I don't know why I'm just... I can fast travel. <laughs> hey, kitty. I guess it would also depend on... Ooh. Okay. You to do some work? Uh... I'd be glad to help. Just yeah. tell me what you need. Well, for starters, just make sure we can... There's a workbench over... Actually, he's going to ask me to make some food stuff, so I think I'm going to run over to the near, uh... Uh... Dog meat. Kitty, what do you want? I'm going to transfer... Oh, I don't have any junk. Sure. Uh, we're going to head over to the farm that's over here real quick and get some vegetables. Okay, see you later, kitty. Um, I'm going to go over land so I don't... Hey, Preston. So I don't get irradiated. <laughs> Forgot that he need like tomatoes or whatever. God, I hate bloat flies. They are literally the worst. If I post more videos, what I think is going to happen? People probably watch them? I mean, because the, uh... The algorithm kind of gets gets a lot of small YouTubers kind of buried in the shuffle, but I think just getting posting things, uh, whether they're short content or streams like this, is you know what you need to do. And that's kind of just what it boils down to. I probably would have more you know stuff on here if I post more, but I heads up. I get. You know, bogged down at my real job and whatnot, and just kind of making a couple of YouTube videos kind of just falls on the back burner until you get days like today where I don't really have anything to do and I want to do something fun. So I'm trying to smash through Fallout 4 as quickly as I can while doing a fun little challenge.
Oh, wrong ridge. I want to go this way. Of course, that being said, just posting videos usually isn't enough to get anything done. They have to be of a certain quality, really. Or I guess aimed at a specific demographic. I've seen a lot of YouTubers, you know, with lots of followers, and they just post, you know, minute and a half videos of themselves screaming or something, and or making wild assumptions about stuff, and then they get views. Is you know, people like that kind of stuff, I guess. But. Have I tried making good content? <laughs> A. Ouch. B. Uh, yeah. I mean, the, the, the few projects that I've put time into, I think, are good. Um, they could use some more polish, but then, like I said, I'm, you know, I work a full-time job on top of all this, so... <laughs> Good content's hard to come by. Content's easy to do. I also, what do you mean by good content? Like, a lot of people like, like, um, like I said, just like the really short, just screamy style videos, you know, but like, other people like these long format, super long, like, uh, almost like stream of consciousness videos so i'm just trying to find the thing that you know i like to do and am mildly entertaining it plastic knife is, is what quest do i have selected oh sanctuary i want to do sanctuary first what the hell stirs he's over here Oh, thank you, Grizzaldo. All subs are appreciated. Talk to Sturges hey, real Sturges. quick. Keep my light on. God, he gets out of bed like I do. Come on, man. I like it. Having a place. What we need now is a. I'm on it. Clean water coming up. Great. Sturgis. I feel better already. Knowing we have a reliable supply of clean water. Uh, yeah, if we're gonna... I'll start planting right away. Good deal. <laughs> I already done all this. <laughs> this place is starting to feel like home. Do you need uh -huh. trouble is, what we need is to get some defense. Oh. I'm on it. Ah, Dang it, I forgot about the f defenses. Um, let's see here. Uh, defense, guard posts. Can I make turrets? I can make turrets. Alright, so I'm going to put a turret here, and a turret here, and then I'm going to put a guard's post here. Alright, I don't have enough wood for another one. I don't like having such few resources. How long ago did I start posting on this channel? I want to say like 2018? But I, I stopped for a long time. You know, I, I posted a few videos and, you know, hey, then I'd moved and a bunch of stuff happened. And... Oh, I turned my light off. Thanks for doing that. I'll sleep better at night knowing we have some defenses set up. It's been a long road. But yeah, I think this... I was glad to help. Well, I appreciate it. Uh -huh. Of course you know you're right. Windows too. Alright, complete sanctuary. Does that give me a level? No. Alright. Do I have a level? I do have a level, though. Let's see here. What do I want? I want... Action boy, bloody mess. 
Scrounger. Toughness, maybe. Um, let's do... Yeah, let's do quick hands. Uh, and then we will... Is there an empty bed? There is. I will sleep for a bit. Who was the first president of the United States? It's George Washington? Wait. Yeah, George Washington. I think... Mm, yes. <laughs> George Washington, yeah. Hey, here's trash can. Yeah, her stuff hasn't set up yet. Um, all right, so I want to do first step just to get some more resources. It's still freaking raining. <sighs> all right, let's talk to trash can see if she's got some stuff. Carla, you again. Here to trade. I know I shot you. I know I forgot shot you, Carla. I'm sorry. Uh, she hasn't reset yet. All right, I didn't think she would. All right, so we're gonna head over to Ten Pines real quick. Uh, where's the cold sack? Here we are. That was correct. Yeah, George Washington. I don't know why I doubted myself on that. Is this the, the safe place to cross? Yes, it was. All right, this should be... Uh... Should be some caps, I think. Oh, there's a deer. Um... There should be a box with some money in it, I think, around here somewhere. I'll turn off my torch here. Biometric scanner. That sounds like good loot. Ah, here we go. This thing. I remember this. Let me follow this up here. And it spits out a bunch of stuff, I think. Yeah. Uh, we'll take the 38 to sell later. Good luck, Deadman. Oh. Have I been jump scared in horror games? Not recently. I play a lot of horror games. Um, and unfortunately, a lot of the time, they just. Oh, God, I still have these in my inventory? Oh, that's annoying. Oh, they don't weigh nothing. That's odd. So, yeah, yeah they're they're. They're not really scary anymore, which I guess is, you know, just because I've desensitized myself to them for so, so long. 
that I just kind of aren't scared of them anymore. Which, you know, is fine. Like, um... I'm also not really fa not a really big fan of the jump scare type of horror. Uh, I'm more of a fan of like the slow like kind of dread horror that you get from like um like your Silent Hills and heck even uh even Resident Evil I think has a is a, a dread kind of horror and the horror is that, like you run out of bullets or something. And that's where the the scare comes from, not necessarily the monsters or the surprise here's a monster kind of way of it but the okay i went to a boss fight with three shotgun shells and 22 pistol rounds can i do this you know oh God, I hate bloat flies. Oh, where'd that dog come from? Alright. You have a Gary's mod? I do have Gary's mod. I've never streamed it. I I couldn't really understand it. Uh, and so I, I uninstalled it, but this was years ago, uh, before any of any any of my streams or anything. So like I just, I know, Gary's mod is one of those things that it looks fun to play, yeah, but I don't really mess with it. What do you want? We don't need any more trouble around here. It's okay. You're with the Minutemen. Uh -huh. You sent word with. Most people don't put much. We're rebuilding. The Glad to hear it. Uh -huh. There's a raider gang that's been giving us trouble. Mm -hmm. We know where they're coming. Don't worry. Thanks, friend. All right. Yeah, G Gary's mod is one of those things that is uh, clearly people like it. Clearly, it's fun. Like I've watched videos of people playing it, and it looks like a blast. I just could never get it to do what I wanted it to do. And it just... Oh my god, die. Yeah. Gary's mod, not really my bag. In the same vein, I also played a lot of T uh, Team Fortress 2 back in the day. But, yeah. Let's see if I can get some barrel ghoul are you, are you are you having a laugh right now dude oh my god this is why I hate these guys God, this. Uh, that's why I also hate bloat flies because the it's not the hit that kills you, it's the dumb, swipey like damage over time bullshit that they do. Oh 
Also, like, half your bullets don't even hit them. They're constantly doing that swervy thing. If it wasn't for the need for, uh... need for XP, I wouldn't even shoot these guys. I need level. Alright. Second time to charm. Have I played with friends on games before? Yeah. Yeah. I, um... Back in the day, I used to play a lot of, uh, Left 4 Dead. Um, Team Fortress 2. Um, recently we were playing, uh, I was playing Fallout 76 with a couple of my buddies. Uh... still play a lot of Fallout 76, actually. So it's not really, uh, used to. It's more of a present-day thing. But yeah, I've played online with friends. The main problem t usually tends to be that either, you know, a lot of my friends have, like, kids or very demanding jobs. So, you know, they don't play it much. Heck, me and a buddy once put like 100 hours in, uh, was it Guns of Icarus Online? That was a good game. Problem was, no one played it. But you know, it's whatever. I'm already running low on bullets. cows. Maybe I should forego this and just go straight to Diamond City. Oh, that's right. I leveled up. I'm going to take Scrounger. Hopefully I can find more ammo. Do you have a best friend before on Steam? Did I have friends before? <laughs> before being on Steam? Yeah. Oh, what the hell's that? What the hell just killed dog meat? Oh, frack, it's a red scorpion. Okay. Get me up here. Where the hell's dog meat? Yeah, I'm just going to go straight to Diamond City. I'm not going to have the ammo to take out these guys. Um, I'll come back and do first step later. Where is... Where is Dogmeat? I don't know where the hell he is. Oh, Warhammer? Heck yeah. I, uh... Right before the pandemic hit, I was... Um, playing uh, Warhammer 40k at my local game shop. I did a whole uh, Sisters of Battle army and I was just getting into it and then the, uh, the pandemic hit and so that kind of folded like a lawn chair. So, yeah. 
Well, I was still very engaged with the world and its concepts and the the, the gameplay of it. Uh, very engaging. I think it's a very interesting world. Um, it's a very colorful world that you can do a lot in and with. But, um... Yeah. 40K is awesome. Uh, it's basic... I, I describe 40K as, like, take every awesome sci-fi concept you've ever seen in a film or comic books in the past 30 years and put them in a blender and that's Warhammer because it's essentially what it is they just like the creators found cool things that they liked and just kind of blended it together uh, to and then like crowbarred it into a cohesive narrative or mildly cohesive narrative do I need to do fire support? No, I don't need to do fire support. Get an unending 10 millimeter? Yeah, that kind of defeats the purpose of the challenge then, because like I'm using the starter pistol, like the the beginning one, so it's not gonna have any legendaries, and I'm just gonna get bonuses from uh, my damage or upgrades. Um, so, a non legendary or armor. I, armor, I can use legendaries and whatnot. Oh, I forgot about the mines. Oh, yeah, the, the Warhammer, like, computer games are fantastic. That's where a lot of people that. I was talking to at the game shop about Warhammer got into it where they got the the, the uh, computer games for Christmas or something and it just that's where it started I've played most of them um, I'm bad at RTS games so of course it sucked but you know unending double barrel shotgun eh that sounds like that would yeah that sounds like it dead break very quickly one thing I absolutely adore about Fallout 4 is how it itself breaks itself more often than not. Oh, come on, really? God damn it. To take all this stuff just to recoup. Yeah, Fallout 4 is its own worst enemy a lot of the time. Because it'll, like, give you legendary things that are just so broken. Like an unending double barrel shotgun. Because the... At least in game design, a good way to balance things is ammo. So, like, uh... The minigun is a horrible example because the minigun is garbage. But, for, like, if you have a super high-powered weapon... You make it shoot real slow, or only hold a few rounds, or make the ammo really scarce. Like, uh, the Magnum in Resident Evil is a good example of that. There's only, like, 20 rounds in the whole damn thing for that gun. But that gun can one-shot most enemies. So it's like, well, that's that's your trade. Um, but if the, the double or shotgun is super powerful because it has this long uh, reload and only holds two rounds... So if you take away that restriction, it becomes this just a broken thing, you know, and you can break stuff with it. I just want to get the location. I don't want to actually fight you. I just want the little XP for the fine. Oh. Just give me the fine and just let me... Let's let me... All right, Hangman's Alley. Let's go. <laughs> I just wanted that 24 XP. Would I take a game request? I mean, yeah, if these, stream if these streams were more a structured thing and not, like, when I have time to do them, yeah, I would. Oh, boy, what's going on here? Oh. Getting some lag. Oh. Let's 
See, all I gotta do is... Is hit them and just... Move on. <laughs> uh... to let you in, Miss Piper. I'm sorry. I'm just doing my job. Ooh, just doing your job. Protecting Diamond City means keeping me out, is that it? <laughs> oh, look, it's the scary reporter. I'm sorry, but Mayor McDonough's really steamed, Piper. Saying that article you wrote was all lies. The whole city's in a tizzy. Ah! You won't bring this gate right now, Danny Sullivan. I live here. You can't just... Lock me out! I know you're listening, Danny. Open the gate. You. You want into Diamond City, right? I just got here, but yeah. Oh, we're getting the... The face glitch. God damn it. Would I give you have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month? <laughs> you hear that, Danny? You gonna open I mean, yeah, like like, like I said, I mean I'm crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supplies. I would take requests on the right. on the next stream, but like I don't know when the next stream is gonna happen. <laughs> Better head inside quick before old Danny catches on the bluff. Sounds good. Oh god, this is a glitch that happens quite a lot. Alright, so the only real way to do it is to to load a save and hope it goes away. I am not playing getting over it with Bennett Foddy. <laughs> That's not happening. Uh, yeah, okay, it's gone. I'm just going to sprint through here. Uh, I've seen enough people play that game to know that I'm not going to have fun playing that game. And like I said, I, I do this stuff in between work and I want to play a game, play games that I'm going to have fun playing and getting over it with Bennett Foddy. Well, is entertaining to a point. I'm not. I'm not playing that. I'm sorry, man. I got orders not to let you in, Miss Piper. I'm sorry. I'm just doing my job. Ooh, just doing your job. Protecting Diamond City means keeping me out. Is that it? Oh, look, it's the scary reporter. I'm sorry, but Mayor McDonough's really steamed, Piper. I mean, so sure. The article you wrote was all lies. The whole city's in a tizzy. Why can't I skip this? Right now, Danny Sullivan. I live here. You can't just lock me out. You. You want into Diamond City? Right? Where the subtitles go? I just got here. You hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna be the oh one God, their mouths are so freaking weird. Jeez, all right. I need to make it personal, Piper. Hey, kitty. Give me a minute. Sounds good. Here we get Mayor McDonough's glorious introduction. I don't even really care about this, so I'm just going to move on. I 
Oh my god, I'm gonna be able to fast travel just right back to... Oh, I keep forgetting that. I so rarely play this game not on survival. <laughs> Come on. Discovered Diamond City. Arturo. Hey, you're the new guy, right? Yeah, I'm the new guy. Well, it's good to have you here. Name's Arturo Rodriguez. Giraffe? Town? I have no idea what that That's even not. is. I have no idea what Giraffe Town it, Giraffe Town is. I've got a few minutes. Something. Well, God, these guys never have anything. Where'd I get rocks from? Uh, let's see here. 63. Oh, that's not enough, my guy. Uh, but I'm going to wind up having to pay him for that, which is upsetting, but, you know. I don't know, I'm looking at his other stuff. I can't use any of it. All right, we will accept, confirm trade. All right, let's go see if anyone else has any ammo. You? I don't know you. Just keep your distance. Giraffe Town is a horror game. So jump scare horror game. Keep calm. I'm standing still. That's exactly what a synth would say. I mean, if it's good, yeah, oh, you know, no. I'll check it out. A, uh, human. Let me write it down. Human as the day I was born. Well, you do look human enough. I'll be watching you. Giraffe. You have eyes like a. Well, they're good eyes. Got it? All right. We can do business, but no funny stuff. I've got a few minutes to browse. Everything you need. It's nearly all of my money. But uh, I'll see if I can sell her some of my other... St I want to sell her my junk, because I want to keep my junk for upgrades. Um... Well, that's expensive. I want to sell this. Um, I can sell these, but I don't want to sell those. Alright, I guess we're going to have to just bite that bullet. Confirm trade. $95. Wow. Giraffe Town. A 9 out of 10 considering the steam. And it's cheap. Okay. Guess I'll have to check it out later. <laughs> Alright, um... Let's see here. Can I... Nope. 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 Okay. I don't have anything to upgrade my armor yet. Okay, so we're back here at Diamond City. So... Find information about Sean. Right. I gotta go find Nick. I don't give a shit about the real world or the combat zone. Something wrong. His ties. Oh, Nick. Another 
stray coming in from the rain. Afraid you're too late. Office is closed. I know you must be busy, but I won't take much of your time, miss. It's important. You don't get it. The detective, he's gone. Missing. Don't worry, I can help. Tell me what happened. Nick was working a case. Skinny Malone's gang had kidnapped a young woman, and he tracked them down to their hideout in Park Street Station. There's an old vault down there that they use as a base. I told Nick he was walking into a trap, but... I'll find him. Thank you. Nick should be easy to spot. Okay. Level? Yeah. Good doggo. Alright, so we're going to level again. Um, I can get Gunslinger. Alright, unlikely Valentine started. Alright. Alright. Uh, I'm going to pause here for a quick moment. I gotta go get some water and uh, use the bathroom. So I'll be gone for a couple minutes. Uh, stay tuned.
All right, I am back. Hey, dog meat. So, unlucky Valentine. We gotta find Nick Valentine. Well, I know where Nick Valentine is, so I'm just gonna go get him. Uh, he's at Park Street. I got. Mm, I don't have a lot of ammo. This might be an occasion where I have to. Um, uh. You know, let's just let's let's just walk out normally. Oh. What? Oh. Gun down now. He's a Sith. He'll kill us all. Kyle, no. Okay, show's over. There are no Sins in Diamond City. Hear me? Just you folks in your damn paranoia. Brutal. Go through his pockets. <laughs> Saw a UFO fall down before up to sky. Um, if you're asking me if I've ever seen a UFO, no. There is a UFO event in this game, though, which I've done a few times. Um, and there's a UFO DLC for Fallout 3 that was bad, to say the least. <laughs> But no, I've never seen a UFO. Um, I've seen things that I can't really explain very well. But, um... On Fallout, yes, I've seen the, the UFO uh, event a couple times. Uh... God, wherever that is, is loud. Where am I going? I want to go this way. The, um... The UFO event is... Kind of funny. Yeah, it's, it's you, you get a decent gun, but it only comes with, like, 60 rounds. It's, it's a mixed bag, honestly. But you can upgrade it to take regular uh, MF rounds. Um... You guys still faffing about with this? Yeah, dog, we found an enemy. God, I'm doing no damage to these guys. I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna quick save and I'm just gonna go. Yeah, the uh, the uh, Mothership Zeta Fallout D DLC for Fallout Three, I thought was very interesting, and then it just wasn't like it had such a cool concept. Is there people over here? Oh. God, why is everybody use 38? I didn't think... Oh. God damn it. Oh, he's a tough boy. Come on, guys. 
I didn't want to grab that, but you freaking dog reset my goddamn thing. Oh god, none of these people. You know what? I'm just gonna take all your junk. I'm gonna go back to Diamond City and sell it all, buy some more bullets. <laughs> oh! Oh, I just got lucky right there. That was just raw luck. That's all that was. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I can just... I keep forgetting I can fast travel. I'm so used to not fast traveling that when I have to fast travel, I just forget I can fast travel. Come on, there we go. Well, they cleared up that dude's corpse real quick. And they sell just about everything, but none of it is scrap. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll take a look, sure. A bit of everything. Ooh. Dang it. <laughs> I was really hoping I was gone long enough for them to... Alright, so I've got some ammo. I've got, I've got some bolts now, or some... Uh... Put that on. Put that on, put that on. I'll sell the rest of it. Hey, Myrna. You again. All right, got plenty of supplies. I've got a few minutes. Odds and ends. I hate how there's a call and re re reply to that. That doesn't need to be there. All right. Uh. Have you heard about Kyle? Kyle had a dad is your village. Uh, if that's a reference to something, I don't get it. Alright, let's see here. I need to go here, but I also kind of want to hit good neighbor... Uh, see if I can buy some, some more ammo. Cause I think Carly. The sad person one. I'm sorry, Gray. You kind of, you've kind of lost me, on that. <laughs> All right. So for reals this time. I actually have to go past my objective. And the wind's gonna close my door. There she goes. Uh, to good neighbor. 
so that I can buy some more ammo and then go free Nick. The sad thing is, is that Nick, uh, the people holding Nick, the chairman? I think that's what they're called, the chairman. Um, I'll use, like, Tommy guns. So I'm really hoping, because I am so low level, that they will use pistols instead, and hopefully they have some 10 mils. Uh... Oh, God. I fucking hate these things. Die already. Oh, really? God, I hate feral ghoul. I hate feral ghouls. I hate them so much. They chew through freaking ammo. What is the funniest video I've watched? That's a hard question. It's a hard question. Probably some of the funniest content I've ever seen on YouTube was when uh, Markiplier was doing that Unus Honest thing. That was just, most of that was solid gold. But, like, that got, uh, that ended. So, you know. That's over with. <laughs> Which is sad, but at the same time, you know, it's, it's over. But for content, you can still watch. God, what was that? I'm blanking real hard on this guy's name. I show speed? No, I have not heard of that. Someone's setting something on fire. Um, I think I go up this way. Then I can go this way. There is a relatively safe path to good neighbor. This isn't it. Nope. Ain't going that way. Oh, he's a, one of those rage guys? Oh, I've never found that to be compelling. I guess if they're funny at it, sure. Okay, well, that's not how bars work, game, so I'm just gonna run. Ah, uh, here we are. Yeah, this is where I wanted to go. I was right the first time. Oh, I'm not surprised he's got a million subscribers. That kind of content's very popular. Okay. 
Oh. First time in good neighbor. Unless it's keep dumb assholes away from me insurance. I'm not interested. Now don't be like that. I think you hand over everything you got in their pockets or accidents. Someone steps through the gate. into a new place, make a short time for yourself. Nice. Good neighbors of the people, for the people. Well, I'll have to check that out later. Everyone's welcome. Yeah, I feel you. Good. You stay cool. So long as you were... I like how he doesn't care that I killed that guy. Anyways, go talk to my favorite NPC. Cleo. Let's I'll take a look. Sure. Purchase of a ride. Purchase of a ride in case of boredom. God, I love Cleo. Alright, 72 rounds. Um let's see, I can sell the road leathers. Light pistol I grabbed. Um Yeah, alright. Oh, wait. I'll give her all my money? Yeah, I'll give Cleo all my money. Alright. We will heal and then head back. Oh, it's a it's a getting over it video. Okay, so what I did last time was I just ran through maybe I can sneak through this time because it's dark now no one's there you see nothing there's nothing to be seen I am a shadow in the night nope go away is it this corner it must have been nothing it was this corner. Alright. I vaguely remember how to get around. I lived in Boston for a while, so... I kind of know where everything is in real life, which kind of helps. Alright. We'll see what we can do in Park Street. Alright, I'm going to make a hard save here. Um, so in case it gets this gets messy. Um... And these loading screens. I wonder why it takes just as long to load the world map as it does these individual cells. Because that leaves a lot of information in these cells. Oh, here we go. Hard save. Joining right. Skinny Malone's crew was the best decision we'd ever made. Look at this place. I still say Malone's weak. We caught that detective snooping around, and what does he do? Locks him up. He ain't got the balls to just kill him. Well, don't let his new girl hear that. She'll start swinging that bat of hers at your face until there ain't no face left. Hmm. Okay.
Did Dogmeat kill one of these guys by himself? Jesus Christ. All right, let's see what they got. 10 millimeter rounds. Hell yeah. That's what I wanted, son. All right. I don't need to be as greedy with collecting stuff as I usually am. I'm going to try to remain stealthed. Um, oh, thank goodness. They're using 10 millimeters. Don't remember this part very well. Uh, see, if we were playing survival, this would be great. Um, actually, I'm still going to take a nap here real quick just to regain my HP. One thing that also took me way too long to figure out about this game, if you press against a wall and you lower your gun, it's, it has a cover mechanic, which for survival mode is brilliant. But for this kind of mode, Come on now, come on now. I think I was mildly overprepared for that conflict. It's nice that some of these guys are using 10 mils. I'm grabbing the guns too, just so I can sell them later. Um. Have a look around. See if there are any containers, maybe some ammo boxes. Eat some food real quick just to regain some of this health. Nice auto save. I think I might have enough ammo to actually pull this off now. I might be able to pull that off. Usually, oh hello, usually way higher level when I come through here. Guys over there. Who's left? Oh. He tried. Ooh, that guy. That guy was packing. <laughs> uh, where's the guy that had the pistol? Is it you? Yeah. Fantastic. 
Heck, I might leave here with more ammo than the one I came in with. Dog meat, what are you doing, mate? <laughs> Dog meat. You're gonna get squished. <laughs> that was goofy. That was very goofy. Oh, that's the guy I just shot. Let's get in this toolbox real quick. Oh, 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 oh. Nice. Ten count. Then kind of what, I wonder. So I got a question. Why the hell would anyone build a vault out of a subway station? This place is like the opposite of airtight. Because they weren't planning to use it, you moron. We used to pull this kind of gun all the time back before the war. Get a bunch of union boys to work some construction job that'll go nowhere. Why think I have five mil on him? That's odd. But my ammo count keeps going up, so I guess I was worried about nothing. Whoa. Oh, sure, I can't shoot through grating, but they can. Alright, let's back it up. Up the stairs, big guy. What, this guy shy or something? Who is this guy? There he is. Ten mil.
Alright. Doing okay. I gotta, um... Eat something real quick. Who's left to be in, in caution? There's probably a guy hiding out down here that I need to shoot. Did he fall down the hole? Yeah, he's down there. All right. Do I have a mine? I don't. I have one grenade. <laughs> That's what you get for shooting you in the butt. <laughs> that noise he made. Uh, that's funny. Alright. Bobby pins, don't mind if I do. You alright, dog? <laughs> you just drop two stories without a single issue. Oh, here we go, into the vault proper. Okay. This is the part we got free, uh, Valentine. Keep talking, meathead. It'll give Skinny Malone more time to think about how he's gonna bump you off. Don't give me that crap, Valentine. You know nothing, you got nothing. Really? I saw him writing your name down in that black book of his. Lousy cheating card shark, I think were his exact words. Then he struck the name across three times. He strikes in the black book, but I never. Oh no, I, I, I got smoke. God, this guy's an fast. idiot. Dog meat move. Who's there? Really? That's the okay. <laughs> Nick. I don't know who you are, but we got three minutes. They hey, Nick. Ah, uh -huh, my knight in shining armor. Question is, why does he come all this way? Risk life and limb. An old private eye. My son. Sean. Missing kid, huh? Well, he's came. I've been cooped up in here for weeks. Turns out the runaway daughter I came here to find what anyway, you got trouble. Okay, the bobblehead. Uh look around. Crew here used to be small time. Muscled out of the old neighborhood by bigger players. Found this place. We don't know what happened. Is he? Don't you die 
Man, I didn't even want to talk to you. You just got in my way, son. The door's on the fritz. Let me see if I can get it open. This vault would be a great place to hide, though. No joke. All right, Nick, let's go. Okay, 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 we're here. Step ladders, the most impervious of. Can't shoot through the step. Oh, God, these hitboxes. Uh, come on, Nick. Let's go. Okay. We're going to do another hard save here. Let me save. And then we're going to uh, check around the containers for ammo. I'm going to drink some water. Another locked door. Oh, I have a level. Let's pop a level. Um... Play mass, could do toughness or life giver. Um, let's take dog meat or no, let's take toughness to make ourselves a little bit more survivable. Step through this door, get ready for anything. All right. Well, okay.
So if I recall correctly, I can sidestep off to the right and there'll be some boxes or something that I can hide behind. And I should just be able to... Yeah, see, right there. I forgot my character was voiced for a second there. You don't want to throw your life away with these thugs. Don't you try to confuse me! Get him, Skinny! Oh! Nick! Freaking took my cover! That's that's dark, Nick. Yeah. I somehow broke even on that with the ammo count. Um, got a bunch of guns that should be able to sell for a... I'll take some of the 10 mils. I'm surprised I have not hit my... I'm nowhere near hitting ammo or weight capacity. Which is surprising to me. But then again, I haven't played survival in a very long time, so... <laughs> this is all surviving to me. Cool. You ready to climb the ladder? Talk me. What to do? And he's loading screen or something else. Come on. Why is this taking so long?
Commonwealth Sky. I never thought anything so naturally ominous could end up looking so inviting. Thanks for getting me out. How did you know where to find me, anyway? Not many people knew where I went. Your secretary, Ellie, she sent me. She did? I should give her a raise. Now, you should. You mentioned something about your son, Sean, and how he went missing. I want you to come to my office in Diamond City. Give me all the details. I'll meet you there. See you in Diamond. Nice. All right. Completed Unlikely Valentine. We are now... Um, let's see here. Go to Valentine's Detective Agency. I'm going to fast travel to Good Neighbor. I'm waiting another two or three minutes. <laughs> Cleo. What? What the hell? This is a few places in the Commonwealth that accept schools. Not like those bigots at Diamond City. Th this scene reminds me a lot of the, uh, there's a similar scene in Oblivion, uh, which is just as janky, but, you know, it's, it's a good scene. Um, but I wanted to go talk to Cleo. Cleo, don't worry. I only test the weapons on customers I don't like. Feel free to browse. Right. See what you have. Each weapon. Uh -huh. Okay, she hasn't cycled yet. But what I can do is sell her the stuff I picked up. Uh, it's basically all her money. Um. Yeah, she doesn't have any more 10 mil. Alright. Uh, wait for Daisy to get back behind her counter, see what she can do. Because right now all I need is uh, ammo. And uh, I'm doing okay with ammo. Oh, new face walks into my scene. And you're not even screaming yet. You're hot. You let me know if anything catches your fancy. 
Let's see what you got. Cash or drink. Let's get started. All right, she's got 10 mil rounds. Fantastic. We will... I've got two of these. I'll sell one. Um, all right, and we're making out of here with with uh over two hundred rounds. Fantastic. Okay, Doki, let's go to uh back to Diamond City. What time is it here? Ooh, almost one o'clock. Where it is, something bad went down in the old museum of witchcraft up near Salem. Why would anyone even go there? It's been abandoned forever. Can I not wait anywhere? Oh, it's 7 a.m., so I just have to wait a while for the shops to open up. All right, I guess this is as good as time as any. I'm going to take a quick break uh, to grab some food, eat something. Uh, we'll be resuming this in a little while. So, uh, yeah, I'll see y'all in a little bit.
All right. We're back. And, uh, since we gotta wait a little while for the shops to reopen, I, uh, I'm gonna head over to Nick's office. We're gonna do that bit. And hopefully, by the time we're done with that bit, uh, the time will have moved forward <clears throat> so that we can get to the shops to buy even more ammo. Because, uh, we need more ammo. Are you here? Nick? Hey, dog meat. Oh, God. It's really you. Well, it's hard to mistake this mug for anyone else. <laughs> you keep laughing at death. Someday, death's gonna laugh back. Not as long as I got a few friends to back me up. You saved Nick, this agency, and my job. Thank you. Hey, happy to do it. Yeah? Go diving into scary pre-war ruins all the time then, do you? Here, I know an amount wasn't on the table when you went out to find him, but you deserve a reward. Plus a little something extra. Ooh, you it's know, windy. If you're looking for work and don't mind putting on the detective hat, Nick sure could use a new partner. Whoa. One case at a time, Ellie. Our new friend needs our help first. All right. I'm not doing any of that. Take a seat. Make yourself comfortable. When you're trying to find someone who's gone... Right. My wife was... It's okay. So, we're talking... Uh -huh. What else can you do? We were in a vault when it happened. Vault 111. You were on ice, huh? Uh-huh. Anything else you remember? There was a man and a woman. So we're talking a small team. Professionals. Anything else you... We're looking for my son, Sean. Good question. Why your family in particular? Well, that confirms it. This isn't a random kid. There's a lot of groups... Uh-huh. So you think this is... Well, they're the boogeymen of the Commonwealth. Something goes wrong, everyone blames them. Easy to see why. Those early model synths of theirs strip whole towns for parts. Then you got the newer models, good as human. In Worst of all, no one knows why they do it, what their plan is, or where they are. Not even... Either way, I need to find Sean. Right. The speculation is getting us off track. Let's focus on what you saw. What did these kidnappers look like? I'll never forget that voice. Low and rough. Like sandpaper across your face. <laughs> Not much to go on. What else? Uh-huh. The man who killed my wife. Could have been a large caliber revolver. Huh. Anything more? You One of them came right up to me. Wait. It couldn't. I... Mm. Wait, mm -hmm. Ellie, what notes do we have about the Kellogg case? The description matches. Bald head, scar, reputation for dangerous mercenary work, but no one knows who his employer is. And he bought a house here in town. Yeah, that's right. The house in the abandoned wet stands. The boy with him was around 10 years old. You said he lives here? They both vanished a while back. Let you and I take... Security doesn't really go to that part of town, but you two? I always... That part of town? What do you mean that part of town? You've really gone through a lot, haven't you? Like, it's... The... This town is six buildings. God. I didn't want Ellie to hear this, but I think you should know. Everything I dug up What's about these vault dwellers no junk thief, huh? Bad man. He's more than just a mercenary. He's a professional. Quick, clean, thorough. Has no enemies, but they're all dead. Except you. Nine to one odds says he's our man. It's more than just you identifying his distinguishing features. The M.O. is all handled well. Leading a small team to kidnap a baby and leaving one of the parents alive for later? Not many mercs in the Commonwealth can pull that off. I don't know if that speaks well to the quality of 
mercenaries in the Commonwealth. Hey, Valentine. Follow me. Let's check out this house Kellogg left vacant. Lock tight. Why don't you give it a try? Won't be able to pick this. Care. Nick. Stubborn lock, ain't it? No luck? We need to find the key. See that platform in the distance? Near the city entrance? That's the elevator to the mayor's hotel. Why don't you go ask around there? I'll stay here and see if I can jimmy this lock. Alright, um... Where's all dog meat go? Hey. Head over there. Alright, whatever. <laughs> Worst case scenario, I'll just I'll just teleport him to me. Which I've had to do before, so. Alright, now we gotta go up to talk to the mayor, and hopefully I can maybe bribe him or hit the his lady friend the secretary cuz uh with my what is it 3 charisma 4 charisma I don't think I'm going to be able to persuade them I don't want to threaten them to see the mayor who'd have thought fine keep your secrets i never did you like piper i always do anybody who's allowed into the reception area miss piper the mayor needs to make time for more responsible citizens <laughs> i was just leaving anyway the mayor's receiving visitors as long as they aren't members of the press did you need help uh who do I talk to if I need to find a key to a house that's been locked up? If you're talking about a property that the city has seized, we only have one on the books. Mr. Kellogg's in the house. You'd have to ask the mayor directly if you want the keys. Uh... I'll talk to the mayor then. He set aside time to talk to petitioners all day. Best of luck. No funny business around the mayor. You got it? I shouldn't scoff. Their armor's actually pretty good. Mayor McDonough? Ah, yes. I remember you, our new arrival. I wish I was in your shoes, getting to see our glorious city for the first time. How can I help you? I'm looking for a key to a house in the city. I assume the mayor's office has a copy. <laughs> We don't have every key in the city. But where would we put them all? <laughs> Besides, every citizen in my city has a right to their privacy. Now, if we did have a key, only the owner can ask for it. That's my final word. Please, Mayor McDonald. Uh, if we give it a shot. This man Kellogg kidnapped my son. I need to find him. Oh. I will do everything in my power to help you overcome this horrible personal tragedy. I remember Mr. Kellogg. Didn't like him myself. Paranoid. Never talked to anyone. I doubt you'll find him. But I insist you take the key to his old house. It's been abandoned, though. I'm afraid this whole thing might be fruitless. 
Thank you, Mayor. I'm surprised that worked. See you downstairs, dog meat. Don't run off like you do. <laughs> Go on. All right, I've got the key. Let's head back to Nick. See, this particular playthrough... Uh, nope, that's the wrong stairwell. This particular playthrough, I've had nothing but positive interactions with McDonough. Which means I've only... The only that's the only time I've spoken to McDonough just then. Got the key? Right. Head in. Yeah. Let's head inside, see what's going on. Take a look around. Kellogg must have left something behind. NCR money. Well, that's one way to try to win. Look at this. All of a Merc's favorite things. Hell yeah. Take all his stuff. No way I could pick this. Gwyneth Stout beer, 44 caliber bullets, and cigars. San Francisco Sunlights. Hmm, interesting brand. Won't lead us anywhere on its own, though. I wonder if dog meat could pick up the scent. Say, that's not a bad idea. Some dogs out there and uh -huh. Well, dog meat seems eager for the... Uh, before you head out... Uh, uh I'm gonna bring Nick. With me on this. All right. Uh-huh. We'll get the, uh... Uh, extra, extra gun. Help me out. So I don't think I've cleared, uh, the fort with Nick in a while. Or ever, really. Alright, first things first. Uh, once we get to the fort, I'm gonna tra fast travel... Dog me. Get the scent, boy. Uh, we're going to fast travel to Get Kellogg, boy. Take me to that son of a bitch. Yeah. Once we get um to Helgen. Helgen? Oh my god. You tell I've been playing Skyrim lately. Once we get to uh, f the fort, I forget what it's called. Wait, is it? Is it Fort Helgen? It might be Fort Helgen. Hagen. No. Whatever. When we get to the fort, I'll fast travel back up to um, uh, Sanctuary, dump a bunch of stuff, see what I can upgrade, uh, and then we will teleport back. Uh, to, uh, do the fort. At level 8, this will be my earliest fort pull ever. Um. The robots in there are going to be pretty tough. But I should be alright. Should be. Operative word. Um. But we'll find out.
So they got Nick and Dog meet with me, so we should be okay. Don't have time for the radio trick right now. San Francisco sunrise. Stop here. Search so around. See if we can pick up the trail. Dog meat find something? Hmm. What do you think, boy? Enough to go on? Here we go. I still think this is a, a fun mechanic that I feel like they just underutilized completely. Like, um... It really was just... They used it this one time... I... Oh, come off it. One of these things was legendary. Alright. Let me see if that's even worth equipping. Mm. Alright, Sentinels are alright. The, the loss in, sh in shield might be better, but you know. We'll find out. I wasted way more ammo on those uh, mole rats than I would have liked. Um, but you know, shit happens. Looks like Kellogg's got a few guys. What do you think, boy? Enough to go on? <laughs> Alright, so I just grabbed a backpack. Oh, I have a level up. Alright, um... Can I do... nope. Maybe I will just take... Bloody Mess. Or maybe I'll take Sneak. Hmm. I'm going to take Critical Banker. I will quick save.
Come on, dog meat. Let's go. There's a bunch of dogs there. I think that was replaced the usual bear encounter. But, uh... God damn it. Oh, come on now. Uh, Nick? Nope. Why? 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 This is why you quick save. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right. <laughs> So I have no idea why Nick turned on me there, or where those raiders came from. My dog, me get up. All right, let's keep moving. Okay, so Nick doesn't hate me now, which is good. <laughs> I'm gonna check up here real quick. See if there's some ammo. Nope, ain't going in there. All right. I clicked on that. I disarmed that before it went off. Okay. There. Oh shit, did Dog Me take off without me? Freaking. Doggo?
forgot about the gunfight to get to the gunfight. Well, we might have to. Well, I'm leaving once we get to the fort anyways, so. Okay. I'm gonna eat some food real quick. We'll continue following dog meat. Yeah, I hear you, dog meat. I'm coming. I'm coming, dog meat. Why was there just a ghoul asleep in the street? I guess... I guess it makes some sense. Why wouldn't there be, I guess, would be more of an awkward question. Why would you take such a circuitous route? I guess we're literally following the man's footprints, so... What do you think, boy? Was this our man? So was he injured? You gonna go, dog me? Here we go. Where's Nick? Here's Nick. All right. Come on. Oh, oh. Try to steer clear of the bloat flies. Dog me. Come on, guys. Why are you... Dog meat. Piece of garbage. Hmm. 
Can we... Can we continue on our adventure now, dog meat? Crying out loud. Bort Hagen. I was right. It was Hagen. Is this the place? Is he in here, boy? I knew dog meat would sniff our man out. Let's you and I take it from here. Give our four-legged friend a break. Come on, boy. All right, so as I said, now that we've got Fort Hagen found, we'll pop back to Sanctuary. Hopefully with Nick and Dog Meat in tow, as they should have followed me. Operative word should. Those who are just popping in now, doing starting pistol only, Fallout 4, hard difficulty. Um, a nice little setup. Wouldn't mind one of these at the agency. Um... I don't have a lot of resources though so we'll um probably just keep you as is what we'll do is we'll transfer restore all junk i'll take the water i'll store these i don't really need them uh oh right i was gonna check that out Actually, I'll stop complaining when there's nothing left to complain about. God, I hate her so much. Oh, we can do tempered, and I'll give us a six six. Yeah. All right. Uh, can I? Yeah, I'll do the insulated lining for my vault suit. Uh, can't do anything there. I can do padded and explosions. Yeah. Mm, can't really do anything there. Do an insulating lining for some energy resist. Um... All right. I don't see trash can anywhere, so I guess she's not here. Let me see if I can. Um. Ooh, quick eject mag. All right. Um. Do the long light barrel. I'm gonna put a compensator on. Um, are there any better receivers? No, there aren't. Uh, let's see here. There's an advanced receiver, which will get me some good, but I need to be gun nut two for that. Uh, rename the starter. All right, man, this gun is looking better and better by the minute. 
Oh boy. And we will inventory apparel. Put that on. Oh, what would I rather have? Chameleon or Sentinel? Hmm. Yeah, let's do... We'll do a Chameleon. And we'll store the mods. Um, and I guess we'll go find Carla and Trudy. Well, actually, I know where Trudy is. We can just go to Drumlin Diner. We can, um, when we need to, we can come back here for the power armor, um, and upgrade that. Um, because at some point we have to go to the glowing sea. Hopefully, I can get that in relatively soon. Bob, hey, Bob, hey, I can rest easy knowing that wolf game is right. Sure. Let's take all salvage. Yeah. All right. Then we'll sell her. All this stuff that I don't need. Time bomb. All right. I'll hold on to that for reasons. Uh, Sentinels, yeah, we'll sell it. We'll sell that. All right, uh, does she have... She has a stim pack. All right. All right. Um, I guess we're going to head back to Hagen now. Do, 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 do. Okay, so we gotta get into Fort Hagen. Uh, some stairs over here. Oh shit. Parking garage. With a home in the basement. Okay. Well, this is probably for survival mode. Actually, I remember... I think I remember sleeping in that bed in survival mode. All right, Fort Hagen, let's go. I really hope I can have enough ammo to get through this. 200 rounds seems like a lot of ammo, but it all depends on how tough these synths are. Now, I'm only level like 8, so theoretically these synths shouldn't be very difficult. What's through here? That's the way out. All right. Foul move. Right. Why are you yelling, Vincent? Vincent? Nick. Oh, my God. <laughs> Shut up, Nick. Trying to be slightly stealthy here. No. Good. Overactive sensors. Nothing more. 
Okay, we're gonna try to, uh... I'll try to hack this real quick. Short. Because this robot will help us out. I don't even know where the hell you are, Nick, right now. Scanning. You cannot escape the texture for long. Don't think I have enough ammo for this. Dog meat just freaking pushed me into that corner. Alright, here we go. Dog me, get out of the way. God, I thought I took a perk that lets me freaking find more ammo in crates. I don't feel like I've been finding much ammo in these crates. <laughs> Where the heck is Nick? Motherfucker, sure, you're invisible and not anywhere until I freaking need to run away for something and then you're behind me. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. the protector on the eye summoned why would he be okay oh my god of 
crying out loud. Why am I not finding any ammo? Oh, crap. Okay. Some bullshit is what that is. Oh, great. I gotta do all that again. Was it there a mine over here? How many stims do I have? Eleven. All right. Take another one real quick. I messed up his pathing. I still don't know why why he uh, shot at me. One thirty five. What's the full mag? Is someone present? We got at least two more coming. seen that before. Did the mines not respawn? Like the last I think 
you can unlock that terminal. Standard defenses are still up, which likely means... There we go. Good looking, Nick. Uh, is that turrets for the whole thing, or just that one turret that I already blew up? Okay. Hopefully there's some 10 mil in here. Yes. 38, 12, 45. Screwdriver. Why am I not finding any 10 mil? Okay, we're gonna quick save real quick. Come on, stick your nose out. Come on, I know you're over there. Please come out. Yeah. We'll be taking that. World's most advanced who's he what's it? Why do these guys have shotgun shells with them if they don't use a shotgun? Fucking dog meat, get out of my way. Now, if it isn't my old friend, the frozen TV dinner. Last time we met, you were cozy enough to eat the apple Pulse grenades. Come on, ten mil. Got it. Of course not. Why would it be? Come on now. I wonder if there's like an alternate ending. No, I, I would have heard about that by now. If there was an alternate ending if you actually did just turn around and leave. Because <laughs> that might be something that I'll, I might have to do. Um, depending on if I don't find any ammo anywhere else in here. I never expected you to come knocking on my door. Gave you 50-50 odds of making it to Diamond City. 
after that, I figured the Commonwealth would chew you up like jerky. There's a very poor read of character. That, I'm pretty sure, is locked. Yeah, it's a security door. Can't get in that way. Look, you're pissed off. I get it. I... But whatever you hope to accomplish over here, it's not going to go your way. Finally, some 10 mil. What's in here? That's it. Some raider gear. Uh, no, that's ain't good. Okay, 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 okay. Let's go. Gotta play it quiet, gotta play it low. Gotta play it slow or else I'm not making it out of here alive. Gotta look around for bullets, gotta look around for other nonsense. Uh, there's a turret over there, clearly. Ooh, nice shot, me. Oh, he hits a 10 mil, up, 10 mil on him. Cool. Cells. Oh boy. No accounting for taste. Ooh, the rest area. Some aluminum. All right. Some medicine. Correctly, there's a key over here. Yep. All right. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. What's going on here? Oh, hey, kitty. You got guts and determination. It's admirable. But you are in over your head in ways you can't possibly go.
All right. Five millimeter rounds, cool. Just what I don't need. It's not too late. Stop. Turn around and leave. You have that option. Not a lot of people can say that. Sounds like Ellie needs to talk to us. We should head back to the office next chance we get. Oh, yeah? When did I grab that? Bobby pins. All right, let's crack this open. I ain't worried about burn, burning bobby pins. I'll sell for pre penny. Correctly, there's another turret. Uh, yep. Okay, that looks like all of them. Ah, uh, here we are. Ammo box. Crack this open. That's it. MF cells. Okay. Okay. You made it. I'm just up ahead. My synths are standing down. Let's talk. Let's. First, I'm going to sleep for an hour in your bed. <laughs> Alright. So I'm going to do a hard save here. You save. Besides being a bit older than you were expecting, I'm afraid he's not even here. So you see, it is the end of the line. Not the way you imagined. Then you're going to take me to him. Right now. Take you to Hell yeah. <laughs> like I could, even if I wanted to. Don't you get it? Your son. He's in a place nobody can reach. Sean's safe at home. In the Institute. So where is it? Huh? This Institute. How do I get there? <laughs> Haven't you been paying attention? You don't find the Institute. The Institute finds you. You open the closet just a closet you can never find the monster that hides inside not until it jumps out at you but I think we've been talking long enough we both know it do 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 excuse me while I take a bunch of drugs let's see what I've got uh Papa Psycho. Do I have a Med X? 
Papa Medex. So, you ready? You know I am, Kellogg. Okay. Uh, now I'm going to pop a jet. Where'd he go? Where are you, Kellogg? Get out of my way, dog meat. Holy shit, okay. Okay. Yes. So much knowledge was lost when the bombs hit. Good to see someone trying to bring it back. Oh, I finally hit my weight limit. <laughs> Where's Doggo? Dog meat. Hey. God, he can carry so freaking much stuff. Oh, there's a chest. Oh my god, still no. Alright, here we go. Kellogg's terminal. wasn't giving us any bull. Your son really is on the inside. Even I don't know where the Institute is. And they built me. There has to be a way. We're in the only person I know willing to snoop up the Institute's tail feathers is Piper, the reporter in Diamond City. I say we had her way. Mm hmm. Diamond City it is. Hey, chin up. Alright, well that's where I was headed anyways, so that works out. Ooh. Going up. Okay, so when I go to Piper, I think after that we head back to Good Neighbor, and then we have to head out to the Glowing Sea, and then from there we have to fight a Courser, and then teleport into the institute. Yeah, I don't know. Turret control, deactivate. And here we go. The Brotherhood of Steel. Oh, that looks so cool. Look at that. Do not interfere. Our intentions are peaceful. We are the Brotherhood of Steel. Where the hell did Dick go? Oh, 
Alright. Well, I'm just gonna fast travel back to the market. Hopefully they'll be open and I can sell a bunch of stuff. Hopefully. See that big blimp? It's the Brotherhood of Steel. Why are they here? Uh, it's eight o'clock. Dang it! New files to open. You, you look a little roughed up. Doctor Doc Crocker over at the Mega Surgery Center. All right. Uh, I will return shortly. All right, I return. It's I'm going to wait. I guess I'll just sit here for 12 hours. offer a wide variety of medical treatments. Oh, you open? Doctor? Let's get you examined right away. Time is not on the side of the surgeon. Uh... Patch me up, Doc. Go over your symptoms. Took a few bad hits from that. Uh, that anything else no other complaints take better care of you all right there's other shops yeah arturo everything i got will keep you safe sure sure just take self-defense at its best all right oh wait i want to do dog hey trade take all Arturo. Hey, Arturo. If you're looking to keep your road light, 
I'll take a look. Sure. Feel free to brag. Uh. Um Ooh, light white metal chess piece. Oh, got 4K Arturo. All right. What do I got in my uh, apparel? What's my chess piece? Leather chess piece. 12, 5, 7, 15. This one's 14, 7. Yeah, I'll buy that and I'll sell them that. Uh, let's see here. What's my right leg? Light white metal right leg? Do I got anything else for right leg? Right leg. No, that's it. 40. Um... All right, let's go over to uh, Solomon. Got cameras right here for you, brother. Let's see what you have. Got your fix. All right, so he's got Psycho. Well, that's expensive. Whatever, I'll pay it. Oh, that's all. Okay. I'll buy a jet. Um, anything I don't want? Some of the gun drops and the beer. Um, go sell the mole rat meat and the dog meat. I want my junk. All right, so we will confirm trade. Back out. Now swatter, that's a real one. Up to Mokrom. The latest hairstyle. Okay, so they want me to go talk to Hyper. Well, well, Nikki Valentine walks into my office for a change. What can I say, Hyper? You, me, and hard luck all seem to run together like acid rain down an old sewer. You, uh, including your client here in that analogy? So, you two are finally letting me in on this little case of yours. What's the story? We need help, Piper. This man named Kellogg kidnapped my son. But that wasn't all. He was working with the Institute. The Institute? Uh -huh. I've been investigating these creeps for over... True enough. Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night. And sometimes they leave old synths behind to remind us that they're out there. But to this day... Where the Institute actually is. Exactly. Kellogg. A man like that would have... But we both know that it... Yeah. Any other ideas, Nick? Talk about a literal dead end, huh? So, a murderer and a kidnapper gets his brains blown out by an avenging parent. Huh. Be a great... Uh-huh.
So what now? Gets his brains blown out. Huh. His brains. You know, we may not need the man. You're talking crazy here, Nick. Look, there's a place in Good Neighbor called the Mem. If anyone could get a dead brain to. Right. I hope you're right, Nick. Let's see. Jesus, Nick. Grow. I know it's grisly, but what choice do we have? We got no leads. Nothing. Actually, I think I already have something. Cybernetics, huh? Whether we're riding this crazy brain train or not, we can't all go running across the Commonwealth. So, who's coming with us? I have to go to the memory den either way, if I'm going to introduce you to Omari. But if you want to head there together, just say so. I'll head there on my own. All right. See you. Don't worry. We're going to get your boy back. Well, you two are out, Sam. And by the way, X. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's not happening, Piper. I leveled up. I've hit level 10. All right, sweet. <clears throat> um... Uh, da, da, da. I want to do what I want to do. Do I want armor so I can upgrade my stuff a little bit better? No, I want, I want, gun okay, I can't do gun nut 2 yet. Can't do gunslinger yet. I have two perception. Uh, let's see, armor. Uh, let's go with bloody mess. This is a good five percent increase in damage. Talk to Doctor Amari over in Good Neighbor. I cannot fast travel from this location. All right. <laughs> I should have guessed that, but all right. All right. Go back to good neighbor. This is going considerably better than I thought it was. Okay, first things first. Whoever this Brotherhood of Steel is, I'm not hey, buying. Hey, Cleo. I hope you're buying. Even a girl with a... I've got a few minutes to... Murder and me. We have to sell my other ammo. Oh, dang it. Um, all right, I'll take nearly all your money. I'll go next door. <laughs> I'll take a look, sure. All the supplies, money, or violence can buy. God, that's dark. Uh, let's see if she's got any, uh, stims. She does. Alright, um... Want to pay in her? Yikes.
Eh, whatever, it's money. Alright, so we're going to... Uh... I look like a goober. Level 10 going into the memory den. Yeah. Now the memory den is an interesting spot. Because I think it's a really cool mechanic that should have been used more often. Because it's just not used in this at all, really. out of the den, Irma, but I'd never walk out on you. Hmm. Amari Fiance. Perfect. Alright, let's head downstairs then. Dr. Amari? Yes. I take it this isn't a social call. Uh, we need your help, Doctor. I need the memories from a man named Kellogg, but he's dead. I know it's asking for a miracle, Omari, but you've pulled off the impossible before. Are you two mad? Putting aside the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse, you don't realize that the memory stimulators require intact, living brains to function. I mean, technically, the corpse was defiled already. This dead brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. The biggest sign. Fine. I'll take a look. Here's what I could find. What's this? This isn't a brain. This is... Wait. That's the hippocampus. And this thing attached to it? A neural interface? Uh, those circuits look awfully familiar. I'm not surprised. From what I've seen, all Institute technology has a similar architecture. Skip to the good part, Doc. We plug the brain implant into Mr. Valentine, assuming he's willing to take on the risks. Hell, why not? Plenty of room in my head anyway. I appreciate this, Nick. You can thank me when we've found your son. Uh-huh. I start cackling like an old grizzled mercenary. Pull me out, okay? Let's see here. I need you to keep talking to me, Mr. Valentine. Any slight change in your cognitive functions could be dire. Are you feeling any different? There's a lot of flashes. Static. I, I, I can't make sense of any of it, Doc. That's what I was afraid of. The mnemonic impressions are encoded. It appears the Institute has one last failsafe. There's a lock on the memories in the implant. Tell me you have a way past this, Doc. Let me think. The encryption is too strong for a single mind. But what if we use two? We load both you and Mr. Valentine into the memory lounger. Run your cognitive functions in parallel. He'll act as a host while your consciousness drives through whatever memories we can find. All right. Just sit down over there. See you on the other side. Now, Fallout 4 was like a, a linear level-based shooter. This would be a cool mechanic to let you go back and like play f previous and levels. Migration between but the uh, and the it's not, so... Okay. Holding on. Can you 
yummy. Ah, good. The simulation appears to be working, although the memory is quite fragmentary. I'll try to step you through the intact memories and hope we find one that gives us some clue to the Institute's location. doesn't seem to be what you're looking for. There appears to be another intact memory close to you in temporal sequence. There. Let's keep looking. I'll connect you to the next intact memory. These memories basically paint Kellogg as being like a fallen type. How did you, you know, think this was going to end, Kellogg? He was a mercenary who then found a family and he tried to get out and then they killed his family and lost his mind and eventually murdered his way into working for the Institute and then he died by my hand despite the fact that he's a certified badass. Which is a shame. I think genuinely Kellogg is like one of if not the most interesting NPC to come out of this game. He is quite literally the best part. Oh, there's one that looks mostly intact. Connecting now. Biogenic stasis. Yeah, just blocking through all of this. Is that your son? This appears to be a very recent memory. So good news I think. It's okay. One of these days you're gonna get your head blown off just barging in here like that. Minimizing my exposure to civilians is a priority. Forget I said anything. So what's the big crisis this time? New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the Institute. Left? As in? He's gone rogue. Name's Dr. Brian Virgil. We know he's hiding somewhere in the growing sea. Here's his file. Well, some heads are gonna roll for this. Capture and return, or just elimination? Elimination. He was working on a highly classified program. No kidding. One of the top bioscience boys? Damn. So, I guess you're taking the kid back with you. Affirmative. Your only mission is to locate and eliminate Virgil. You're taking me home to my father? Yes. Stand next to me and hold still. Okay. X688. Ready to relay with yeah. someone. Now it all makes sense. Of course. Everything makes sense now that teleportation is involved. Let me pull you out of there as soon as you're ready. might have had no one's ever done this before how do you feel i'm okay doctor thank you that's good but i want you to keep monitoring yourself we have to be sure there's are you we got what we needed yes their greatest secret uh -huh. 
suspected that scientist Kellogg was the person. You're right. A rogue? Where did the memory... If we need to find Verth... If you're going to go, be... I'll find a way to get through the rats. Don't worry. Good luck. By the way... Alrighty. Not quite a level's worth there. Now this is such a waste, such a waste of potential. Well, what happens next? Because I always feel like Nick. Hope you got what you were looking for inside my head. <laughs> that was right. I should have killed you when you were on ice. Kellogg, is that you? What? What are you talking about? Like, what, there should have been plenty times where you There's could talk like to, Kellogg like, he'd swap into Kellogg. Or like you could t like there was an option to swap, have him swap between Valentine and Kellogg. Um, should I take Nick? Um, yeah, I'll take Nick. All right, let's get outside. We'll teleport up to Sanctuary and then back down to Diamond City and then we'll make our run. Oh, excuse me. Actually, do I have any power cores? Good neighbor. Lowest place in the Commonwealth. Everything not nailed down rolls through here at some point. Actually, uh, can I buy a fusion core? situation I've got a few minutes each weapon to... all right um fusion core five hundred dollars okay so back to sanctuary Yeah. All right. Uh. All right. Let's see if I can mess with my gun anymore. Powerful. Twenty-five damage. Uh, let's make it powerful. I've got nothing else I need right now. I think Preston may want to chat though. Alright. Don't care about Ma Murphy right now. Okay. Oh, okay, that's the binding helmet lamp. Jesus, that's that's visibility and a half. All right, so I got 25% fusion core. That might be enough to get to Virgil and back out. Um, I'm gonna go get another fusion core. I'm pretty sure there's one over by uh, this trash can around. No, 
Pretty sure this went over by the, um... Yeah, no more fusion. I found a fusion core. I think I sold it in my selling ammo spree. Um... Over here in the underground, there should be a bunch of mole rats and then a fusion core. Here's a fusion core. Um, okay, crack that open. Uh, where's a good spot to find a fusion core? Actually, I think there's one in Fort Hagen that I missed. Yeah, let's fast travel to Fort Hagen and see what's up there. Well, if I'm worried about w wasting my core, I shouldn't be walking around in this. Pretty sure there was a generator in the basement that I just walked past. Hopefully there's a fusion core in there. If not, if I continue south, I think there's a garage. A car garage that has a fusion core. So hopefully we'll have two or three um, before we head into this, the sea. Yeah, right in here, I think. I think it was in here, was it? There we go. Yes. They should have bought a better lot, huh? Huh. 
Maybe I'm misremembering. I must be misremembering then. Yeah, I've got. I must be misremembering. All right, then we'll head south uh, of here and head towards the glowing sea, and hopefully we'll come across. Cause I'm pretty sure there's like a park car, a car garage or something that has the um. It has a fusion course. Because we really only need it for the red resistance, which technically we don't need it for. Um, There's a, I think it was over here where I parked. Yeah, it's up here. Yeah. Yeah, I think this spot here might have a power core. If not a power core, it might have a suit of power armor. We want to be able to get the core out of to use it. Oh, there's a suit. God damn it, no core. Perfect. All right. Um, this might pose a problem then. <laughs> I think of places that would have power cores around here. Actually, you know, this is a this is a decent place to stop, anyways. Also, I think of this done in one go. Looks like it's probably gonna take another go. Uh, for those who did hang around, thank you so much for doing so. Thanks so much for checking it out. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll see you guys.